What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back and what I wanted to talk about two of the deluxe skins today and the reason why I want to talk about these skins is because uh, I'm under the assumption that these skins are going to be released very very soon and uh, those skins are going to include the Nidus deluxe skin and the Vaban deluxe skin uh, which I'm really really excited about both of them, but if you would like to see all five of the deluxe skins that were shown at Tenocon, I do have a video for you. Uh, most of you have probably already seen it, but if you have not, you can click up in the right hand corner to check out that video. It is fairly long, but I do go into some fairly uh, big details on these skins. Uh, because, you know, I, I, I did that then so that when we get into these videos now, we can keep them short, kind of just talk about uh, the, the details. And when I actually get my hands on them and I customize them, I don't have to go into depth about all their details. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's jump into it. The first skin I'm going to talk about actually is going to be the Vaubon skin. Because this Vaubon skin, number one, here is the concept art. We got to see the concept art uh, quite a while back. But it's looking absolutely awesome. Uh, this concept was, well, as soon as I saw it, I was super in love with it. Uh, definitely very steampunk, very cool. It's got the piston thingies on his stomach, uh, which you'll actually get to see those in motion in uh, one of the videos here in just a moment. But then at Tenocon, we got to see a uh, an in-game picture snapshot from probably Captura or whatever, you know, uh, engine, you know, when they're doing their dev build, however they take those snapshots. You can see that here, which looks just awesome. It looks so good. Um, but they actually showed it off at the at the last step stream, and it, she, Rebecca's running around with it. Um, it's functioning. You can see the animations and all that stuff, and it looks very, very close to being done. Um, in fact, it, to me, it to me it looks done. But then again, I didn't really take an incredible close look at it. But I'm under the impression, like they do with a lot of the deluxe skins, that this might be getting some sort of rework. Uh, because that's usually what happens when these deluxe skins come out. Is Especially because a lot of people do want to see some changes to Vauban. So there's a good chance we're going to see some changes. And maybe that's what's uh, kind of kept it from being released, you know, this week. But uh, it appears as though it's pretty much finished. So maybe next week... Uh, when I say that, I'm, uh, I'm talking July 23rd through the 27th because that's, you know, that's a word, their work week. So maybe we'll see it then, maybe the following week. So uh, I don't know. But anyways, I think it looks great. I'm really excited to get my hands on it. And uh, yeah, following that, I'm actually surprised that this one is as far along as it is. But the Nidus skin, um, I knew the Nidus skin was going to be a hard skin to design and create. Uh, I know a lot of the Tenogen guys I've talked to previously were talking about how it's difficult because the way his mutations work and whatnot, that it's kind of hard to uh, texture and design. But this is being worked on by DE because of one of the, one of the, uh, the fan artists that has kind of made this skin and uh, the DE ended up uh, telling them they wanted it in game. Uh, I talked about this in detail on the, on the other video, so I won't get into detail there. But it, this is the, the design without any of the mutations on it, which looks really, really cool. Very skeletal. It looks very bony. It looks very interesting. Um, and I'll also throw up the picture of the skin with all the mutation deal on it, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, however, you can see here, this is the skin in game. So it looks like this skin is, like I said, very far along, looking absolutely fantastic in my idea. Um, I love this skin. Uh, I know some people are absolutely, you know, ecstatic that this is coming out. I know there are people that are also critiquing it, and I understand, especially if it's your main frame, if this is your go-to. Um, you know, I was that way with Mesa. I wasn't, you know, I was a little bit torn on if whether I'd like her or not. But once I got my hands on it, uh, I was surprised at just how, how, you know, how it suited my myself. I don't know. I, I just liked it a lot more than I thought I would. But maybe you will as well. But anyways, this is the skin in game. This is this is it walking around. You can see the eyeballs on his arm, which I didn't even notice until you know for for a very long time. Looking very very cool, um, 
And this is also a, a picture of the arms. And I never noticed this because you can't really tell in the concept design. And uh, even some of the devs didn't know this, that there are bones. There are like broken, shattered bones inside of the energy arms that are crossed on his chest, which look Frick, that's so cool. That's so cool to me. It adds so much more to the skin. Uh, I know some people aren't too crazy about the arms being there. Um, if you know, uh, one of you have already approached me in the comments uh, in the last or in the the, the deluxe video, and you said you weren't too, you didn't enjoy it all that much. Does this change your mind, or uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm also wondering if you can texture his energy color or color his energy color to be very dark so that you can't really see the arms if that's more your your style or your flavor um but then again that kind of means you can't really get the energy color you want so i'm curious to see what you guys think about this skin now they have not uh been a they have not fully created the skin in terms of the mutations so we can't see an in-game design of this uh, Nidus with his mutation stacks, so that's unfortunate. But that means that you know, number one, it's it, it's over half done. Uh, if you think about it from the original concept all the way to now, it's over half done. Uh, we didn't see the Kubro whatsoever or the uh, the helmet charger uh, that you guys reminded me about, because um, that's what the skin is going to be. Um, but anyways, we didn't get to see any of that, so. I think this one's a little bit farther out. However, Rebecca in the stream did say, uh, while she was showing off Nida, she did say you like you can expect some something next week, and I I don't expect it to be Nidus, just because he doesn't seem. It seems like there's still quite a bit of work to be done on him with his mutations and stuff, but Vauban definitely seems like he could be coming out next week. So. Uh, I hope I'm right because I just can't wait. Um, but you know what? If it takes a little bit for them to get here because of polish and making these things look absolutely fantastic, you know what? That's okay because uh, I know DE. You know I know DE. I know DE in the way they are. So it's. Uh, I'm just really excited. Are you? How do you guys feel? Um, I, I've heard a lot of your comments in the deluxe skins video, and I've read every single one of them. And I know a lot of you guys are super excited. Some of you guys got little critiques here or there. But in terms of these two skins, what do you think? What do you think? Does it change your mind now that you've seen them in game? Or maybe, like I said, with the nidus and the bones in his arm, what do you think about those? Um, I, I'm just, I'm going to be completely honest. These are, uh, this nidus especially, is like one of my favorite skins of all time. Um, that Bobon skin is is really, really cool. I don't know if I could place it in my top five, but I really like it. I really like it. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, a little long-winded. I wanted this to be a little bit shorter, but you know what? The only way to make it shorter is to for me to shut up and just let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Blah!